Have you ever seen a tiny bug that looks like an ant, but can actually fly and even burn your skin like acid? That strange little creature might have been a rove beetle. Hi, welcome to A9 Channel, and today we're diving into one of nature's most misunderstood insects. It's a tiny predator, a helpful garden ally, and sometimes a painful mistake. Stay with me, and let's take a closer look at this fascinating insect from different angles its life, its behavior, and its surprising role in nature. Rove beetles belong to a huge family of insects called Staphylinidae, with over 66,000 known species across the world. Their most recognizable feature? Their extremely short wing covers. Unlike most beetles, rove beetles have wing cases that only protect the front part of their body, leaving their rear segments exposed like they forgot to finish getting dressed. Despite their strange look, these insects are ancient survivors. Fossils show they've been around for over 170 million years, dating back to the Jurassic period. You can find them almost anywhere on Earth, except Antarctica. They thrive in damp environments, under leaves, inside rotting wood, in soil, and even in flower pots on your balcony. Rove beetles go through a complete metamorphosis, four distinct life stages, egg, larva, pupa, and adult. Their larvae look like tiny worms and live in soil or decaying wood, hunting smaller insects and their eggs. Don't underestimate their size. Most adults are between five millimeters and one centimeter long, but they are skilled predators. In fact, many rove beetles help control agricultural pests like aphids and mites. Farmers even use them in biological pest control to reduce the need for chemical pesticides, making them eco-friendly allies. But not everything about rove beetles is friendly. Some of them are infamous for causing painful skin injuries without ever biting you. Let's talk about the toxic ones. Some rove beetles, especially those in the Paderus genus, carry a chemical called pederin. It's one of the most potent non-protein toxins in nature. If you crush one of these beetles on your skin, the pederin in their body fluid can cause a reaction called Paderus dermatitis. This includes burning, swelling, blistering, and sometimes long-lasting red streaks that resemble acid burns. That's why they're nicknamed acid bugs or flying acid. The toxin helps protect them from predators. Once a bird or spider tries to eat one, they almost never try again. Even more fascinating, researchers are exploring pederin for its medical potential. Since it blocks cell division, it could be used in future cancer treatments. So yes, rove beetles might sting, but they might also save lives. Rove beetles are most active at night, especially during rainy or humid seasons. They are highly phototactic, meaning they're strongly attracted to light, especially UV and blue wavelengths. That's why they often fly toward porch lights, bathroom lamps, and any brightly lit areas. Their wings are cleverly folded under their short wing covers, allowing them to fly quickly and tuck their wings away like a piece of living origami. Ecologically, rove beetles are multitaskers. They're not just predators, they're also scavengers and decomposers. They help clean up dead plants and animals, recycle nutrients into the soil, and contribute to ecological balance. Of course, not every species is beneficial. Some can damage crops or carry bacteria. But overall, rove beetles are quiet heroes of the insect world, doing more good than harm. So what should you do if you see one? Rule number one, don't squish it. Crushing a toxic rove beetle is the easiest way to get its chemical on your skin. Instead, gently brush it off using a piece of paper or rinse it off with water. If contact occurs, wash the area with soap and water, and most importantly, don't rub it or the toxin may spread. Apply an anti-inflammatory or antihistamine cream. If symptoms worsen, seek medical attention. To prevent future encounters, use screens on windows and doors to keep them out. Avoid using bright outdoor lights at night. Regularly check houseplants, especially during rainy seasons. Wear long sleeves when outdoors in buggy environments. Reducing light pollution and minimizing pesticide use can also help. A healthier environment makes them less likely to invade your home. So next time you see one of these odd-looking beetles, don't panic and definitely don't slap it. Rove beetles are part villain, part hero. And honestly, they're kind of amazing. Have you ever had an encounter with one? Maybe you've seen them flying near a lamp, or maybe you've even felt their sting. Share your story in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more wild and weird insect facts.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.